Oh, everyone, this is Drew Young with Younger Dingus. Thank you so much for making this video part of your day. Dude, that was pretty good. Try not to sound like a robot this next time. <laughs> In today's video, we're using the refractometer. And this is what we all feel. Let's just not deny it. Something pulls and it tears. In the deepest place, this is what we all know. Why must we still fight it? It's time to open our eyes and acknowledge the writing on the wall. Today's episode is sponsored by Fed and Happy. Go to fedandhappy.com to get red wiggler composting worms for your Johnson Sioux composting bins. That's fedandhappy.com. Guys, in today's video, Truett and I use our refractometer for the first time. So I just recently purchased this refractometer. Looks like this. Refractometers are a useful tool, especially to those of us who are into regenerative agriculture. A refractometer measures the bricks level in your plant and the bricks level tells you how healthy your plant is. But now you're asking yourself, what the heck is bricks? Well, bricks is a unit of measurement that indicates how high the sugar levels are within your plant. So a higher bricks level means that you have a healthy plant, a lower bricks level indicates that you have a plant that isn't quite as healthy. This is important because low bricks level is an indicator that you have uh, plant stress, like environmental stress, nutrient deficiency, or a disease is attacking your plant, or that you're more susceptible to diseases in the future. So knowing that and being able to know if we have high bricks or low bricks will tell us if our plants are susceptible to more diseases or insect pressure, because insects will not attack plants that have a high bricks level. So to protect, have corn, it's in a position to be uh, able to resist insect pressure. We want our bricks level, I believe, below, above a 12 or a 13 uh, for our corn plants to be healthy. So that's why I purchased our refractometer so that I could be measuring our bricks levels within our own uh, corn plants to see where we're at and to see if we're creating a healthy crop that's gonna be able to resist insect pressure. So Truett and I have done two uh, tests with this refractometer on two different fields. So last week, uh, last Saturday, so exactly one week ago from today, we measured the bricks level on our Jimmy Red corn on both our irrigated circle and our corn. So what we did is Truett and I went out here, Truett selected uh, some leaves uh, last Saturday, and so we measured the bricks level on our corn on our, our dry land Jimmy Red and our irrigated. So what we did was is we got pulled the leaves, we got the second highest leaf off the plant, which is what I believe that you're supposed to be doing. And we took the, took the sides of the leaf off and we crushed it with pliers, let a few droplets hit right here on the refractometer, put it down and look through it. So after we did that process on the first day, I was incredibly disappointed because our bricks level in the Jimmy Red on, on both fields were anywhere from three to five, which is an indicator that our plants are in are susceptible to diseases or insect pressure. An heirloom corn like Jimmy Red should have a higher bricks level than GMO corn. Um, and I'm not gonna get into the whole details about it because I don't really understand it as well as John Kemp and Tom Dykstra. So I'll leave that video that John Kemp inter um, interviews Tom Dykstra in the comments below and they'll get in the whole gambit and the detail of healthy plants and how insects and diseases don't attack uh, healthy plants. They, they go after unhealthy plants. So check that out in the notes on this video that you're watching right now if you want to know more about the science behind why insects don't attack healthy plants. Now the million dollar question is, is what can we do to increase the bricks level within our plants and increase the health of them so they're less susceptible to insects and diseases. On this particular field where we can fertigate, uh, we're adding Fed and Happy, Bio5, and we did one day and one section where we did uh, the Pacific Grow, the fish hydrolysate product, the Elevate Ag uh, sold to us. We started that a couple of days ago. It's gone half a circle. I measured the bricks level uh, today. It hasn't increased yet, but that's those are some of the things that we're doing right now to increase it, and we'll see if it increases at all 
uh, throughout the growing season. I don't know why our bricks level was low on this particular field. Uh, I, I wish this was a different video of me being like, yeah, look how awesome our bricks level is in our corn. And it's just so amazing. This is how awesome regenerative agriculture and cover crops and no-till and Johnson Sioux and all that stuff is. It's just great. And it just always is amazing. Um, I'm not, I, since you guys have been watching my channel, you know, I, I don't make stuff up. Uh, if, if something doesn't go the way I want it to go, I'm going to be transparent and tell you because to me, this isn't just a, a show or, or a YouTube channel where I am t teaching you something um, and only tell you when things are going good and only bring things up when it's amazing. I, I want to be really transparent with, with our, our things that don't go well as, much, as well as all the things that are going awesome uh, because that way we can grow and learn together on this journey into regenerative agriculture. Going forward, I've got some research to do. Uh, I'm gonna, I myself, I'm gonna rewatch that video that John Kemp did with Tom Dykstra. Um, gonna reread the, the chapter that Nicole Masters has in her book called Good Bug, Bad Bug. And uh, gonna search YouTube a little bit myself to see uh, wh what the best way to increase the BRICS level of our plan is and to make sure that I'm testing these plants right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited about the refractometer. I'm excited about what it's going to teach us. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave in the comments below a few topics that you might want me to cover in the future. And I've already shot the next few videos because harvest is going to be crazy. And the next few videos, the next few weeks are going to be crazy. So I already shot the next couple of videos. And I'm excited about those videos that are coming out in the next three weeks. So guys, keep pursuing soil health and uh, keep loving life. This is Jay Young out.